Number seven on the foundations of reading exam. Let's start by reading it over and then talking through some of the ideas in the question. Number seven, asking a student to listen to a word, for example, saying, and then tell the teacher all the sounds in the word is, is an exercise that would be most appropriate for students who, A, have a relatively low level of phonological awareness, B, are beginning to develop systematic phonics skills, C, have a relatively high level of phonemic awareness, D, are beginning to master the alphabetical principle. Another great problem. It's great because it has all these ideas in it. We have the alphabetical principle here, phonemic awareness, systematic phonics, phonological awareness. It's a kitchen sink problem. Uh, it's great because it gives you an opportunity to practice with all these tier three ideas. Uh, and the more you know, the better you're gonna do, especially on the new exams, where you're gonna have much more wordier, wordier, wordier questions and scenarios, okay? So we should, we have, should have an awareness of the meaning of all these words. Let's start with the ones involving sound. Phonological awareness has to do with hearing sounds on a word, syllable, and phoneme level. Phonemic awareness is one involving hearing individual phonemes within a word. So it's much more specific. It's not just hearing sounds, similarities in words or syllables. It's hearing the individual sounds within a word. So both of these, though, I'll write down. These ones, they're strictly sounds sound activities. Uh, now let's look at these ones right here. Well, phonics and alphabetical principle, they have print. There's some aspect of print. So I'm going to write down print. It's print and sound. Or we could write down letters and sound. Phonics has to do with matching up letters with their corresponding sounds to decode words, and then to use this letter sound correspondence awareness to help with things like reading and writing. The alphabetical principle is a basic form of phonics, but it has to do with learning that early, early phonics involving the alphabet and learning the predictable sounds that correspond with each one of these graphemes. Now in this activity, we're asking students to listen to words and then tell the sounds that they hear. So this exercise is about listening and, and, and talking about the sounds that they hear. So there's no print involved. So there's no print, that means B and D are out. Cross them out. Now let's talk, think about the activity. They're listening to a word saying, and they're asked how many phonemes do they hear? How many individual sounds do they hear? Same has, what, what sounds do you hear? S, A, M. Three distinct phonemes. An S, a long A, and an M. Let's take another word. Cat. How many phonemes? K, A, T. Again, three phonemes. How about champ? Everyone practices it with me. Champ, how many phonemes? Ch, a, m, p. So identifying the individual phonemes in a word like same, s, long a, m, or champ, ch, a, m, p. Well, this would be having to do with hearing sounds on an advanced level. So the answer would definitely, definitely be hearing sounds on a highly advanced level, this is a phonemic awareness activity. You know, if you got this one right, that's great. But make sure you understand why A, B, and D are wrong. Have, have, be, be comfortable with that. We sh you should be able to be like, you know what? Phonological awareness has to do with hearing sounds. And this is an advanced hearing sound skill. So it wouldn't be a low level phonological awareness skill. That would be like if you're reading a poem and in the poem, you had the word mouse and house. And the child recognized that those words, mouse, house, rhymed. If a child heard that mouse and house rhymed, that would be basic phonological awareness, a low-level hearing skill, beginner hearing skill. We're looking for something more advanced. Breaking up the phonemes is more advanced. That's why C is the right answer. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.